Hello everyone, Zarvolt here, and today I'm going to be showing you a uh, black, red, and green ramp deck I've been playing. So I'll show you what cards I have in it. So I'm not going to name out every card, but I'm just going to hover over the cards so you can see what they are. See what all we've got in here. Uh, visually you can see how many we've got of each kind and uh, what they are and everything. This is my variation on the Sifter Worm deck, which uh, Sifter Worm is the only creature we've got. and uh, we ramp into uh, big cards like um, Sandworm Convergence and Cruel Reality. We have a bunch of removal spells to uh, protect ourselves until we can get our big cards out. Uh, so hopefully uh, we can win a few games. That's the deck. Uh, we'll play a few games and see how it goes. Okay. They've got a blue avatar. Hopefully, uh, that doesn't mean they're running control spells. We'll, we'll see. So we get to go first. Um, I typically do not go first for whatever reason, but uh, that's just how it is. Anyway, we'll see what happens. Um, okay, the mulligan down to six, so that's unfortunate for them, but uh, maybe they've got a better hand than they would have had the first time. Okay, we'll go ahead and play this Dragon Skull Summit, I guess, and get it out of the way. Um, could have played the Mountain first, and then uh, the Dragon Skull come Summit would have uh, not been tapped, but... Uh, so, let's see. I think we play this green, so we'll play uh, Thermatic Compass. Thermatic Compass is really good. Uh, it can uh, get uh, land cards for you. And uh, also, once it transforms into a land itself, it can... Uh, remove a creature from combat, so uh, that's really helpful. Okay, let's go ahead and play this Gift of Paradise. Okay, Gift of Paradise is going to us, gain us three life, and um, we can use that particular land to uh, add two uh, mana of any color, so uh, can help us get our bigger spells out later. Play. Let's see how we're gonna do this. I'm trying to think. We need to get a rupture spire. Now I like rupture spire because it can be any land color you want, but you've got to tap another land to get it out whenever it comes out. So they've got a bronze on. Okay. So let's see. We can go ahead and fight with fire that bronze on. I think does sound like the best plan. See, we can add two of any color, so we get to choose uh, what color we want to do. And now let's just go ahead and fight with fire that Brontodon, that way he can't get rid of our compass. And uh, now we can play our Rupture Spire out. And we have to pay extra land, extra mana. But now the Rupture Spire can be any color we want, which I feel like for three color decks, Rupture Spire is really good. Um, probably don't want it in a two color deck because it is going to tap extra land when it comes out but uh, for three color decks that need the extra lands it's really good so let's see what else he's got he's playing red and green not sure what he's got okay so he's got an abrade for our compass so he was able to get rid of it anyway without the uh, bronze don but uh, we can go ahead and our promise and uh, Let's see here. We do not have another desert out, so we're not going to get the uh, zombie tokens, I don't believe. But we will, we should go ahead and uh, let's see. What's the most useful lands? Um, I guess we'll get an arch and this swamp since we're not getting the uh, zombies anyway. Since we didn't have enough deserts. So now we're ready to go. Now we can play whatever we want to out of our hand. We can play our Sifter Worm. And uh, hopefully scry up something good. Okay, what does our opponent have? Does he actually have a play? Okay, he's got Serpent of the Conduit. Okay. That can use energy and add mana. We'll go ahead and play a Sifter Worm. We've got a blocker. Struggle to survive can gain us some life. I guess we'll do that, and that way we've got the compass there. We 
can get rid of whatever creature he puts out with the struggle to survive. So what does he have? Probably can't attack. He's thinking about what to do. Okay, it's Varric's Blade Wing. Okay. Four, four flying dragon. I wonder if this is some sort of dragon deck. Um, we need to. Let's see. Let's attack first, and if he double blocks or something, that'd be fine. Probably not gonna block though. And uh, I think our best play is to. Um, See, so we, we can either Sifter Worm or we can Struggle Survive and then um, Gift of Paradise. I think it's better to go ahead and Gift of Paradise and then um, Struggle to Survive the Varix Blade Wing so that we've got that flyer out of there so we're not taking any more damage. So we're not doing too bad so far. He's up to four mana. So he could do okay, so he's got a demanding dragon. So we are just gonna take the five loss of life. We're not gonna uh, sacrifice our uh, creature. So uh, if we had a small creature I might sacrifice it, but uh, I think we're okay. So again, uh, I think we go ahead and attack, and if they want to trade uh, two creatures for the one creature, that's fine. So he's going to block. Okay, so he's going to trade the two creatures. Okay. This will get to trample one to their life total, so that's good. So let's go ahead and play this other Sifter Worm. Hmm, none of this is really all that good. Gift of Paradise would give us a guaranteed three life. Versus, like, not having just a random card on top. We don't know. We may not get any life. So I guess we'll go ahead and do it this way. Gift of Paradise also gives us a bigger Bane Fire here in a minute or two to finish him off. Okay, he's thinking... Hopefully we've got them to a point where they got to think about conceding. Okay, they've got Vivian Reed. Okay, there's Vivian Reed. Would you like to see what's left of Scum? Let's see what they do. Okay. The wilds are my shield. And they got a Gear Hulk. That is not good. Let's hopefully uh, kill them before they can play that Gear Hulk. Okay. Let me think. We attack for seven, they block, that's five. Do we kill Vivian or just kill them? I'm thinking we just try to kill them. I think we've got enough with the Bane Fire that we can just kill them. Okay, are they gonna block? Yes, they're gonna block, okay. That's fine. So we're gonna hit, hit for five and then We've got enough mana to bane fire for seven, so I guess we've got this. Okay. Bane fire will finish him off. That's good. I really love bane fire. I think it's my favorite card of uh, this new set so far. Okay. Go ahead and try another game here, see if we can do good. Okay, we're facing Logan, whoever Logan is. Okay, this does not look that bad. We've got a couple of sifter worms. We need a basic land though for our Gift of Paradise because I don't want to put it on a dual land because Field of Ruin can destroy a dual land. Okay, looks like black-white mana. 
Let's go ahead and play the Rupture Spire. I'm going to pay the mana for that. Okay, what do they have over there? I guess we just play out one of these tap lands. Okay, next turn we could play Gift of Paradise, but uh, we don't have any basic land to put it on. So, uh, no, let's not. Let's go ahead and end turn. Maybe we'll draw a basic, out, basic land to put it on. Hopefully. Okay, they're not doing anything over there, so I'm not sure what they've got. They've got a Twilight Prophet, okay. So, our Heaven to Earth, the Heaven side, is actually going to be able to do something. Because normally it, there's not any flying creatures to kill, but uh, luckily they've given us a target. So, uh, we'll actually use that. So that's good. So we're going to get hopefully value after they play some land-based creatures too. Which maybe they'll be reluctant to play and then we can go ahead and start playing our stuff. So maybe they've only got flying creatures. Not sure. Let me think about this. The um, Gift of Paradise could go on a land, and then we could also play Fight with Fire. Let me think about how to do this. Okay. I don't really want to put it on the Rupture Spire. So I guess we'll put it on one of these root, root bound crags. And then that's going to give us enough to actually play it and kill this so they're not attacking and gaining life and now we still don't have enough for sifter worm so I guess we just keep waiting and see what they do famished paladin okay Definitely want to get rid of that in case they've got, um, okay. We can go ahead and struggle to survive that. That way we can get a two for one out of it. And they don't get the little token guy to go with it, so that's good. <clears throat> okay, now we've got our green land for our sister worm. That is good, so we can scry. Um, wow, three lands. I don't think we need any more lands, so we're just going to randomly put a card on top. And uh, Okay, it's a Bane Fire, so at least we gain a little bit of life. Better than a land and gaining no life. So now we can just um, keep uh, playing uh, Sifter Worms. But our first Sifter Worm is dead, so that's not good. Okay, Evra is not a good card for us because they can uh, switch its um, life total with their, uh, they can switch its power with their life total. So let me think about how to uh, do this. Um, I think we'll go ahead and play this as a blocker. Wow, we have got a ton of land. Do we take Grow from the Ashes or some random card? I guess we'll get some random card. Okay, it was a land, so that was a bad play. So let's see what they do. Now, 
Evra, I've seen do some really good stuff, and I've seen people do some bad stuff. Let's see what they do. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay, they're getting rid of one of our uh, picture paradises, so that's not good. Okay, I think we need to go ahead and play our devastation to get rid of it. <clears throat> because if they had used the ability there, they could have won, but they didn't know how to use it correctly, so that's fortunate for us. Okay, another Herald of Faith. Okay. Let's go ahead and play this Sifter Worm out. Hopefully we draw one of our big cards. Um, our Devastation, I think, will be good for us. I'll gain us some life, and then we can use that on the uh, Angel. What else do they have? Okay, they've got, um, well, poo. Now we can't attack with our worm. They're gaining a ton of life, and we're, we're not gaining life. So let's go ahead and play our Hour of Devastation and get rid of that. And uh, hopefully we draw something else, because um, Bane Fire can't win on its own. So maybe we draw something good. I don't know what they've got in this deck, but they sure have gained a lot of life. And we've pretty much done a bunch of nothing. Okay, Star of Extinction is good, um, if they play something else. I feel like in a normal deck, Star of Extinction uh, costs too much mana, but uh, when you're doing a ramp deck, um, you can ramp into it and it can actually become a really good card for you. So. Uh, I don't think I want to start with Extinction just yet for one creature, so uh, let's let them put a couple more creatures out. We've got some life that we can uh, wait till they get a few more creatures. Let's go ahead and draw a card. I keep forgetting about these Archer Baraska, but uh, since I remembered it, we'll go ahead and get it. Okay. Sweltering Suns. Um, do we go ahead and do that? Uh, let's let's draw a card. Fight fire with fire. Um, let's go ahead and Sweltering Suns. Then we can fight with fight fire with fire to them directly, and then bane fire to them directly, and then that's over half their life gone. If we could just find some other way to uh, do a little bit more damage, we can win. Does he have some kind of way to... Uh... Okay, he's gaining life, putting counters on his creature. I guess if he's got it... Okay, he's got another one. So he's gaining a ton of life. So, Moment of Craving was a pretty dead card in his hand, but he made it work really well for him there. I'm impressed with that move by our opponent. That was pretty good. Okay, now we need to um, go ahead and start with Extinction now, I think. Get rid of a land, not that it's really going to matter at this point in the game. Could have used um, our earth from heaven to earth. Okay. Fight with fire. We can do that twice. Let's draw a card though. See what we can see what else is in our Okay, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Something like an hour of promise to get a couple of creatures out. So let's make sure we've got our deserts going on. So that we get the zombie to Okay, that's good. Okay, hopefully they don't have any more removal, but it uh, looks like they've got plenty of removal so far in this deck, so uh, we'll 
we'll see if we can break through with these zombies. Okay, do they have removal? It looks like they don't. Okay, that's good. Um, fight with fire, kicker, doing 10 damage to them. Okay, so that's good. So they're down to 24, so they're starting to get within range, I feel like, after gaining all that life. Okay, we've got our compass. Go ahead and play that out. attack with our two zombies. Okay, they do have a murder for one of our zombies. Okay. Let's draw a card and see what we get. Now that we know they've got no cards. Okay, there's a cut to ribbons. Okay. Let's get our land. See, I guess we'll go ahead and get this black source. In case we do draw cruel reality. We do have cut the ribbons in our hand, so uh, Okay. They've got a seal away, okay. Hopefully they get nothing else and we can uh, Let's see here, do we try for this um, to get the rest of our lands out of our deck? The more basic lands you get out of your deck, the more chance is that you're going to draw the good cards that you want. So we'll go ahead and draw another card. Okay, there's our Cruel Reality, so let's go ahead and play that and... Uh, that's what I was looking for. Now we can start pegging them off for five each time, or if they play a creature or a planeswalker, we can get it too. Okay, Regal Blood Bore. So we've got to cut the ribbons for that. And um, let's go ahead and fight with fire. Okay, they've had enough. I, I think they're out. I think we were going to get them. So that was pretty good. Okay, let's play. Oh, what did we get? What kind of card? We got Make Obsolete. Boo. Okay. Okay, it's Teferi, so that is not a good sign. Okay, so this doesn't look too bad. So they've gone down to six cards. They've gone down to five cards, okay. Maybe that'll be good for us. Okay, Ornithopter, okay. Guess we'll play our Rootbound Crag. Okay, play our Mountain. Don't want to Bane Fire anything just yet. So they've got a Menolith, okay. So they've ramped up pretty good. So we'll go ahead and try to ramp up and uh, keep up to pace with them in lands. So we've got our gift of paradise. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. We'll go ahead and play another Gift of Paradise. And, uh... I don't know if they're going to use that what they're going to do with that, if they're going to do something silly with it, but I've seen a lot of decks use Ornithopter as like extra mana, or they've done weird things with it, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. Okay, Tizzeret, okay. I have a master with ease. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and shift her word. I think we just go ahead and try to find something new. Star of Extinction, that'll do it. Okay, Cleansing Nova gets rid of all creatures. Okay. So they get rid of our creature, but they Silent. get to make a throb. Hey, there's Star of Extinction, so I guess we can uh, get rid of uh, Tezzeret and uh, kill one of their lands. So that's good. We'll click, ki kill their blue source in case they got counter spells. You think you won? Okay. They've got Chandra. So I thought this was some sort of artifact yes, deck, but uh, now I'm not so sure. Okay, our devastation. I guess that'll take care of Chandra. So let's do that, and then they've got two cards though. Nobody tells me feel my pain. Hopefully we can get some land and get this sandworm convergence out. Karn, okay. I will fight with honor. Good choice. So, this is the third planeswalker in a row. So, hopefully they don't have that many planeswalkers. I don't know. Scavenger grounds. Is that enough? Okay, Sandworm convergence. There we go. Hopefully we can uh, get this going and uh, start turning the tide here. Okay, another Tezzeret. Shall we begin? I made you a gift. How convenient. An excellent choice. Um, Council of Skygate, I think, is the best plan here. Let's see. You could go ahead and kill that. See which one of these planeswalkers is worse. Um, I think Tezzeret is making little creatures for him to block with, so we need to get rid of Tezzeret as quick as we can. A lucky shot. And we get our second worm, so that's good. And I love the sound of those worms coming out, that big old horn sounding murr sound. It's great. That's not good. And Karn is drawing up more cards. His choice. We don't want to give him a Chandra. I guess Filigree Familiar. Tetheret makes a Thropter. My device is finished. As are you. Okay, there's the art, so we can start drawing cards. Um, let's draw a card, maybe we'll get something to deal with everything. Okay, it's more land. Um, I think we just keep making worms and hopefully uh, 
We can kill their planeswalkers eventually. To fairy. That is not good. Let's slow this down. Oh man. Reverse. So Teferi is getting rid of our Sandworm Convergence. It is the ideal We need an answer supporters. pretty soon. We need another um, power devastation or another um, star of extinction. Council of Skygate, okay. There's the compass, so the compass can help us. Okay, at least we get rid of one Thropter. I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that um, stupid Tezzeret because it's... Uh, Making dropters are being really annoying. The stakes are clear now. And we just shuffled away our sandworm convergence. I forgot about that, so that's not good. This will aid us. And they got a Chandra in their hand. Okay. Well. When people start screaming, I know I'm on track. Oh, today's my lucky day. Okay, fumigate. That is not good. You know what? I'm not done yet. The fairy's drawn cards for him. Star of Extinction, thank goodness. I guess we get rid of the island. Golly, I'm tired of planeswalkers. Okay. Bond. So this is definitely just a planeswalker deck. You cannot possibly win. My odds are ever improving. Okay. Arcane Encyclopedia. So they get to draw a card. But so do we. We get to draw a card. And we draw land. And we draw a gift of paradise. So that is not good. Uh, let's see if we can get something. Okay, cruel reality. That's not bad. Maybe we can get that cruel reality down. This should help. Okay, more council at Skygate. I guess that's to block for his planeswalkers. I guess that's why those are in the deck. I guess he's just got a bunch of colorless creatures and a bunch of planeswalkers. Is that's his deck. But I mean, I think it could work out for you maybe. Let's see. Um we're going to go ahead and Cruel Reality. And, um... Let's draw a card. Sifter Worm is good, okay. So he has to sacrifice a creature or planeswalker, so I'm assuming it's going to be the Sky Gate. And uh, he's got more creatures in his hand that we we know. Okay, 
Okay, there's a filigree familiar. And Sarkin, okay. No sword can pierce so my scales. So I guess Sarkin can help you filter through cards. Surely you knew but, this um, would happen. I would normally put it in a dragon deck. I guess it's fine. Yes. <laughs> Okay, he's got City's Blessing and got uh, Arch of Veraska, and he's got a draw card there, so got a lot of draw, draw card engines in his deck, that's for sure. Okay, Grow from the Ashes. Um, do we do that? Or Sifter Worm? Um, I think we're going to try to do both of these Grow from the Ashes and Sifter Worm, okay. Getting more land out of her deck, so that's good. We'll go ahead and sift her worm too. Um, there's our sandworm convergence again that we got rid of a while ago, so we'll go ahead and take that back. And we're up to 44 life. Opponent has got to sacrifice something. Gets to draw a card. Okay, he needs to put more creatures out, or Cruel Reality is going to get him. And he's got to kill Sifter Worm, too. So hopefully, we can. Uh, Fumigate, okay. He's got the Sister Worm problem taken care of. That's an unfortunate thing. And he's got his own creature, okay. Advantage, my. Okay, Sarkin, yep. I know what I'm doing. Let's go ahead and draw a card ourselves. There's our same room conversions, okay. So we've got same room conversions, let's play that. And fight with fire. I think we could kick that, but um, I'm going to draw a card with the uh, arch instead. Could have kicked it and did more damage to uh, the player of the planeswalkers, but uh, I think it's better if we get through our deck faster. Cruel Reality is going to start um, putting the hurt on him, and Sandworm Converts is going to start making us worms. So he's got to sacrifice one of his planeswalkers. Okay, Sahili. Today I craft my victory. I'll show you draws and discards the card with Sarkin. And scribes with Sahili. I see weakness. And does a damage point to us. Prophetic Prism, okay. Draws a card. Okay, plays, um... I don't know how you pronounce it, but it looks like, um... Halty. But I've heard other people call her Watley. So, there you go. And makes a, uh, Dinosaur token. So, we'll kill that. Attack a uh, planeswalker with our uh, worm. Sarkin is the closest to ultimate, so we'll go ahead and attack him, I believe. <laughs> a little pain won't stop me. Okay, let's go ahead and draw a card. So we got scavenger grounds. Okay, let's go ahead and play this gift of paradise out. Life, so 
we're at 46 lives, so we're doing good. Get more words the same versions. They've got to uh, sacrifice the planeswalker with cruel reality. Let's see what they do. You think you're a okay, warrior? Sarkin. Okay, that's good. Okay, Howard Mentor's Cage. That's going to get rid of uh, one of our enchantments, I guess. Okay, Sandworm Convergence. Okay. Scry with Sahili. I like to think fast. Card with Arcane Encyclopedia. And they've got Psy, okay. He uh, will make a Thropter every time they cast an artifact, so uh, he's making a Thropter, so that's not good. Okay, they're out of cards, so I'm not sure what they're waiting on right now. Okay, Watley making a 3-3 uh, three, three dino token. On their flesh. Let's see if we put... Okay, we can't put a counter, negative counter yet, but uh, this next turn on our turn we'll be able to. Okay, cut the ribbons. We need to get rid of Psy. And we'll go ahead and attack and hopefully they'll block. Let's see how they let's just attack one of each of their planeswalkers and see which one they want to protect. Because they could just block and protect both. But they decide to uh, let Sahili die, so that's okay. You will not dissuade me from battle. Okay. Let's see what they get now. Okay, it's Nickel Bolus. Okay. Discard a card, except we don't have any cards in hand, so that's fine. So, have they had every plane walker in the deck? I think so. Do they have enough mana to transform the Cobolus right now? Um, let me see here. They got that mana list. So it looks like they do. So, okay. Witness omnipotence. Okay, so they're bringing back a sifter worm. I guess so they're going to try. Serve me. So that was a pretty good play for him. Okay, a mountain. So that's good they didn't get any more life. Okay, they're gonna make a 3-3 token. Sing the song of fame. A rupture spire. Not what we needed. Um, yeah, 
I'm not sure why they're holding priority right now, but um, it's just the land, so it doesn't do a whole lot. So yeah, this game is really coming down to the wire. It's pretty close. Okay, I'm just looking at my land here. We could do a Spires of Araska. Let's um, put some negative counters on something. Sacrifice one of these scavenger grounds. That way, they won't kill one of our worms whenever we attack. We can just uh, attack and. Uh, well, they could if they double block it. Put some more negative counters on it. can attack in with both of these worms. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and attack Bolus, Nickel Bolus. Die. So, not sure why that happened, because I would have kept him around, but uh, maybe that was a misplay on their part. I don't know. Let's go ahead and draw a card real quick. Okay. Yeah, I think they realized that they shouldn't have let that bolus die. So if I counted correctly, that was a total of 11 Planeswalkers we faced in that deck and uh, still was able to beat them. So I feel pretty good about that, facing down that many Planeswalkers. So, uh, pretty good. Thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe.